Hi there, I'm Keith, and uh, in this video, we'll give you a quick little demonstration of some of the contact management features in Plan Plus. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click over here on the Contacts tab and Contact Summary. So, Contact or Contact Summary basically take me to the same place. Um, there's two types of contact views that you want to get familiar with. One is what we call a summary view. A summary view is kind of like a spreadsheet view where you've got rows and columns of data. And in Plan Plus, you can determine which records show up when you click on the contacts tab by manipulating the current view. So you'll have a default current view and you can create additional views under manage views reports. Here's I, here I've got a few different choices for views and reports that I can select. I like to select, I like to set my default as the last updated record and then sort it based on when the record was updated. So the one that I've updated most recently is at the top. Uh, you can control the columns that show up. So you can have, maybe you want phone number, maybe you want to have who the team lead, that's the record owner, show up on this column. You could choose any one of the other fields and put it on this style layout as well. Now, the other page layout, by the way, these are filters. So you can filter your data when you're on the summary view to show you just prospects or just active clients or whatever values you might have in your classification drop down. You can filter it by who the team lead is, uh, who is updated, what state they're in, a couple of different filters. And then you can create custom views uh, up here as well by using the manage views reports. It's pretty self-explanatory. We have a video on that as well. As I click on one of the contact names, we'll click on Diane here. This is what we call the detail page view. So on the detail page view, I've got the contact information over here on the left, phone numbers. We even have a click to call integration. So this integrates with many of the uh, Skype, SIP, Jaja, others. A lot of, uh, if you have click to dial inside of your current phone system, there's a very good chance that it can work with Plan Plus Online. There's just, just a little cut and paste URL configuration on that. Uh, email addresses, you can click on an email address and it will launch our email compose window. You can create various different email templates and have those. Uh, we'll show the address down here. You'll notice that we also have some time zone information. So we're going based off the uh, area code and the zip code to determine what time zone that person might be in. We have some optional uh, things like linking to LinkedIn that you can add. Uh, over here in the main part of the page, We've got some different, uh, we've got some, the main content for the contact. This is very configurable, especially if you're using the business edition, the page layouts are all very configurable. This is a customized page layout where I've put some information about my buyer criteria on the page layout. Uh, maybe I'm using my page layout to, de to derive some of my drip of marketing, whether I want a certain campaign on or off, birthday fields. Team lead, this is always a good one to determine what, um, who the owner of the record is, what classification they are. If it's a single select classification, you can also manage your classifications by clicking on that drop down menu. Uh, contact types, this is a multi-select field. This is a custom field. You would manage this by clicking on the account setup button then going down to custom fields for contacts. You would find contact type or any other custom fields you've created. This is a field here called portrait, which can upload an image of the person that you're, uh, that you're referring to. So you would manage that by clicking on the portrait link. Down below, we have some additional field sections. I have one on my page layout right now called the profile section. In the profile section, I can have some additional fields. Favorite teams, favorite activities, favorite movies, children's, favorite sports, education. You know, We can put other fields in there by managing the custom layouts. Again, custom layouts in the business edition. Uh, down below, you will have uh, both the uh, link to the process step if you're using the process steps. Again, we have a video on process steps specifically. And we have the history for this record down below. So for instance, let's say I say that um, they like to golf, likes to golf. I'm going to enter that in, put that in as a note. And down below, I've got my history of everything that's happened with this client. One thing that Plan Plus does that a lot of people like is we actually show the full content of the note in the history item here. So if you happen to have an item that has some details in it, some systems will require you to click on an item and open it up to view the contents of the note. We'll actually show the contents of the note right here in the summary view. So I've got a, a nice way to see all of the history. If I want to schedule a task, let's say I want to say uh, follow up with Diane and I want that to be for today, and I want that to be an A1 priority, I can schedule that. 
follow up with Diane, shows up down below. Let's say I want to create an appointment to um, uh, meet with uh, buyer, Diane, and I want that to be uh, tomorrow at, say, 3 p.m. I can go ahead and add that. Now, when I have an appointment, I can also I can also invite other people inside of my company. And um, let's say I want to invite Dan or Peter to that appointment. I can do that. Now, once I've created those tasks and those appointments, we'll go back over here to our home page. And you'll notice that my task list has the task. So anything that you create, any task or activity you create linked to a contact will show up in your task list. Click on that. I can mark that as compete. It has a little link icon that will show me that that's linked to Diane. So sure enough, it shows that I have that task. And since I marked it as complete, it now shows as complete down here in my history. On my calendar, I have that appointment that I scheduled for meet with buyer Diane right here. I can open that up and it shows that it's linked to her in the reference. So if I click on that reference, it takes me right back to Diane's record. So there's a few other options that you might want to explore. There's some actions that you can perform on a contact. You can associate an opportunity, uh, scheduling appointment tasks and notes, uh, attaching a sales process, which we'll get into in another video. You can store multiple addresses. You can control who has access to the, to the record. Uh, there's some additional video content on record sharing and access controls, but you can definitely control who has access to the record. And if you want a little more, if you want a little more granular view of the history, you can go to the activities tab, and here you can actually see just the calendar appointments or just the tasks. Now, if you're using some custom fields uh, for, say, newsletter list or primary mailing record, another thing that's kind of neat that you can do. Uh, you can use things like the contact type. Let's say I want to put her into, let's say, Steel Companies is one of the groups, and I want to put her on the newsletter list. I update those records. Then meanwhile, over here in my marketing area, if I go into my list management, I've created a list for Steel Companies, and it's based on anybody who has a contact type equal to Steel Company, and it will show up in my list. So it's easy to create lists that you can then use for creating marketing, uh, ma email mailings, or uh, you know other activities that you might that you might want to do as well. So that's a brief summary of the contact management features inside Plan Plus Online. Thank you.